What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time you watch my videos, but in case it is, I am a third year medical student studying King's College London and it is currently um, 10 to 8 in the morning. Uh, I have a really, really busy day planned today. Um, I'm actually flying to Athens, Greece later on in the day. I think my flight's around 2.40pm. Uh, the plan for today is uh, to have my breakfast, finish off getting ready, uh, and then work for a few hours. After working for a few hours, I'm gonna get the train straight to Gatwick Airport and fly to Athens. It's a really, really busy day, but really, really exciting as well. I can't wait to take you guys with me. I'm gonna eat my breakfast real quick, get ready, and I'll catch you guys up on exactly why I'm flying to Athens. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. All right, so breakfast is all done now, and I thought I'd take a second to tell you guys exactly what is going on, exactly why I'm going to Athens. But some of you guys might know that although I am a medical student, uh, I also did biomedical sciences in my last degree, so I do do a bit of research on the side. This summer I went to Taiwan for four weeks, I did a whole vlog on my research project while I was there. Go check it out if you haven't watched it yet. But on the side as well, before I actually went to Taiwan, I managed to get a project uh, in urology. I will be telling you guys later on how I'm managing to fund this trip how I managed to get the project as well. Uh, so don't worry, stay tuned for that. So I managed to do a bit of research um, in urology and basically I submitted a abstract to a conference uh, and that abstract actually got accepted. And um, I was invited to uh, present my work at a poster presentation at a conference, which I'm so, so excited about. I'm a little bit nervous, but more, more, more excited than nervous. I'm gonna go to the conference and hopefully outside of the hours of the conference, I'll actually be able to explore Greece uh, enjoy myself, get a few videos for you guys as well, show you guys what uh, Athens is like. And yeah, that's the plan. So right now it's uh, about half nine. Uh, the plan is to work on my new monitor. I just got this monitor a few days ago, so I'm so excited to use it. I work for maybe an hour and a half, and then uh, finish off packing as well, and then head to Gatwick Airport. So I'll see you guys on the next shot. As always, before I start a revision session, I want to put half an hour on my forest app, just to make sure that I actually take a break in half an hour. So, so half an hour on there. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm also taking a few minutes to write down a few things I want to get done before I leave. So what I have to do so far before I leave is do my dishes, because that's really important. Uh, submit my final poster presentation uh, for this actual uh, conference. And then uh, do a few lectures as well uh, on my tablet. So that's the plan so far. Yep. All right, so um, revision is finally done. I managed to get one lecture done, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, but it is currently uh, quarter to 11 now and I probably should leave soon. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen, do my dishes, do like the last few things I need to do. Uh, make sure my room is like clean before I leave. So I'm super, super excited now. And so yeah, I'll see you guys probably at the airport uh, or in Greece, we'll see. All right, so I'm all ready to head to the airport now. Uh, as you can see, I've got my roadman bag on because I need my passport on me. I've got my uh, like jogger trousers, I guess you can say that they're kind of like joggers, but they look like trousers. Don't trust anyone who goes to a flight longer than one hour wearing jeans, man. Like, literally, those people are dodgy. Don't trust them. And uh, once I get to the airport, I'll probably sit down and prepare for my presentation. So I want to go to the airport, sit down, prepare for my post, uh, have some lunch, and I'll see you guys very soon. Alright, so it's currently quarter past 11 and I finally just got to the hotel. I didn't actually realise how long the trip will actually be, like, I knew the Greece and Athens was in Eastern Europe, but I didn't actually realise just how far it actually is. Uh, it was about a three and a half hour flight, and then about an hour and a half to get from the airport to here, and I just got into my room, so far I messed it up, I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of where I'm staying. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd say nothing too fancy, like it's really not fancy at all. I was given a budget of £500 to pay for uh, the actual registration fee for the uh, conference, which cost £250. So I was basically left over with £250 to pay for my flights, accommodation and everything else. Um, and I don't have that type of student loan to be paying money from my own pocket. So, give you guys a quick tour anyways um, before I mess it up. So over here is the main entrance. And then coming straight away and I just laid my stuff out really quickly. So I have like a table here, mirror, a TV over there, a random chair in the middle of the room for some reason, a uh, double bed over here, and then uh, yeah, the toilet and shower uh, in here. Yeah, it's like standard, you know, standard thing, standard shower, standard toilet. 
But yeah, that is pretty much it. It's getting quite late actually, and I haven't eaten dinner yet. So the plan is to go downstairs. I'm gonna make, no, not make. I'm gonna buy some dinner, um, try to find like some Greek like cuisine that I can have. And then after that, I need to make some final last few minute changes to my poster, submit my poster, because tomorrow morning I have to wake up really early to head to the actual conference. Uh, I need to like iron my suit and everything, get ready for that as well. Maybe spend like a couple of minutes uh, practicing, like actually, you know, speaking out my presentation. So I'm gonna eat dinner, come back, hopefully by then it'll be like not too late and I can do some last minute changes to the poster, practice the presentation and then head to bed. Cause tomorrow morning I think I need to be there for around like 8 a.m. That's the plan for now. I'll see you guys in the next shot. All right, so it's currently 1 a.m. I'm really, really knackered right now, to be honest with you guys. Um, I went down for dinner, I had a quick dinner. Uh, I came back upstairs and submitted my final draft of my poster. Uh, yes, very, very last minute, but it's all good. Finally have it submitted, so hopefully tomorrow morning when I go um, up to the conference, hopefully my poster should be there um, as a final version. Uh, after that, I also spend a couple of minutes just practicing, like presenting my poster. Again, last minute, but it's really, really hard. Like when you have uh, these conferences to these conferences to attend to, and you're also trying to balance medical school at the same time, and balance YouTube, and balance your social life, it is really hard. So sometimes, unfortunately, things end up being um, last minute. But hopefully, I do. You know, believe in my in, my, in myself and my ability to present. Uh, it's something I've been working on for a, a couple of months now, so something I do know quite well. All my clothes are ironed now and are hanging up over there. Um, I'm all ready for tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna have a shower, get ready for bed, hopefully get like a couple of hours of sleep in, and then head to the conference in my morning. So I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Um, but I'm gonna, yeah, just see how it goes. Uh, attend the conference. During my free time, there are a few like interesting things I want to go to, like a few interesting seminars and lectures I want to go to as well. So hopefully I get time for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'll try my best to get some clips at the conference. I don't think I'll bring my camera in because of like security and stuff like that. But I will try and record some stuff on my phone and show you guys what like attending a conference is like. But that is it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the conference. Uh, wish me luck. What is going on guys? Um, it's currently 8 a.m. in the morning and I definitely did not have any trouble tying my tie over there. Um, so the current plan right now is to go downstairs, have some breakfast. I'm feeling good. It's presentation day, day one of the actual conference and I'm feeling really good. So I'm gonna head downstairs, uh, get some breakfast, come back up here and then head to the conference. Um, I'm about a 19 minute walk away, which in this like 22 degree weather in a full suit is gonna be so hot. I checked online, actually it's a three minute walk. I'm not actually sure why it says 19 minutes now. Anyway, he's gonna grab some breakfast and, oh, lovely. Don't you just love it when you have a brand new spot in the morning, what you're just about to present. Thank you so much, God. Uh, shout out to you. But yeah, that's the plan for now. Uh, I wanna get ready and I'll see you guys very, very soon. All right, here we are, fully suited and booted. Um, I think the last time I wore like a full suit was probably um, year 13 prom. I think it probably, yeah, probably was year 13 prom. So it feels a little bit weird, but also it feels quite nice actually. Like I do enjoy wearing a suit. I'm not entirely sure what this attire is for a conference. I just assume it's a suit. Hopefully I don't show up and everyone's like just chilling in their clothes. Um, but yeah, all ready now. Got the you know, proper shoes on as well. Yeah, we're ready, man, we're ready. I'll see you guys at the conference. So I've just been to the centre, um, I spent a bit of time there, kind of uh, registered, got my name badge, oriented myself a little bit, uh, oriented or orientated, oriented myself a little bit, um, went to see my actual poster which was amazing, it's, it's actually so surreal to see myself you know, actually 
at a conference with my name on a poster. Uh, definitely had a bit of imposter syndrome, didn't really feel like I should be there. Um, and the weird, weird thing is that they probably didn't have like a medical student badge. So they gave me like a resident trainee badge. So everyone's gonna think I'm a trainee doctor when I'm not even a doctor yet. It's crazy. Uh, but walk to shops now, just to get a little drink and I should be back about half an hour to attend a symposium that I really wanted to go to. So I'll see you guys in the next shop. All right, so the next thing that I want to attend starts in about uh, nine minutes time. And it's actually a speaker from Kenya, the three speakers from Kenya, which are coming to tell us a bit about urology and how they do it in their hospital, which I'm really excited for. It'll be really nice to network with a few people from Kenya. But I went over to Aldi and got myself a few snacks. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in there for a few hours. Uh, so I got myself some brioche rolls. As you guys may have seen in my last uh, few videos, uh, my day in the lives, so I always have brioche rolls on me. Got a Coke and a water as well to keep me going for the next couple of hours. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. All right, so it's currently around uh, 3 p.m. now and it's finally time for lunch. Um, I found this like little um, Greek restaurant a couple of minutes walk from conference center and the reviews here are sick. Um, I really, really want to try out Greek food. One of the main reasons that you know, I really wanted to come to Greece was for the food itself. Uh, I ordered myself like a platter of, um, of food. Really looking forward to it, really, really hungry. Um, the conference is going well so far. I attended a lecture, as I told you in the last clip, for urologists from Kenya and South Africa who came and uh, told us about the urology that's going on in Kenya, in East Africa, and also South Africa as well. I did a bit of networking as well. One of the really, really important things about being a medic is to, um, to network as much as you can. Uh, so I did a bit of networking, spoke to like you know these Kenyan urologists. Uh, you never really know where you're going to end up. You, these might be your colleagues of the future. So it really, really is important to attend these, uh, to attend these different talks and uh, network as much as possible. So I'm going to take about an hour for lunch, chill out here. The, the weather is like so sick, it's so warm. I had to take my tie off because it's just getting too warm. Um, but I'm going to have, a, yeah, have about an hour for lunch, head back to the conference in an hour. There's another really interesting talk on erectile dysfunction, um, ironically, that I really want to attend. Uh, so that's the plan so far. Wow. That's what we've got right here. All right, so I am back from the conference uh, and it is currently, what time is it? It's 5.30 p.m. Uh, really, really long day, but also really, really nice day. Uh, and the funny thing is they gave me this like huge badge, which says, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it says resident trainee. So if you're wearing this, you should be like, um, like a, what do you call it? A registrar or someone actually training in speciality. So. For the whole weekend, uh, I'm a resident trainee. I'm gonna be flexing this everywhere. But yeah, I thought I should probably tell you guys uh, exactly like how I got this uh, research opportunity, how I got this opportunity to come to Athens. Um, so it all started in around uh, March, February time uh, of this year. So last year, in my second year of medical school, um, basically we had a module called the Scholarly Project Module. And this is a module that you can choose yourself to uh, go into an area of science or just an area uh, anywhere, like anywhere you're interested in. So people chose arts, people chose humanities, uh, music, film. Because I wanted a more clinical experience, um, I chose a project in urology. So every Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'd be either on the wards or seeing patients in clinics. Uh, one day I was in the clinics and I randomly uh, was assigned to the whole entire clinic. Uh, so I walked into the clinic and I just went up to like a random, random doctor and I was like, hi, my name's Kenji. Uh, I'm a medical student here at King's College London. Could I possibly sh um, shadow you and work with you for the rest of the morning? So yeah, he was a really nice guy. Uh, he let me come and sit down with him. Uh, I actually sat down with him, I think, two or three times. Uh, I developed a really good rapport with this guy. And uh, towards the end of my project, I said to him that I'm actually really interested in, uh, in doing uh, research, actually. I told him I do research on the side in dermatology as well. Uh, and he was like, oh, like amazing. Um, I have a few projects uh, you know, to do with urology if you'd like to have a look. And the really good thing is, you know, at this age, uh, at this stage of my medical career, it really is important to try different specialities, try different research, to find out what exactly you're interested in. Uh, so yeah, as soon as he said that, I was like, you know, like, yeah, why not? Like, I really would love this opportunity to come and work with you. Uh, and that's how it all started. Um, so alongside my lectures, alongside my preparation for my medical school finals, 
Uh, I was going to see him every, every couple of days. Um, I was working on this project with him, which is what I'm presenting now. And then around May time, um, he said it was an opportunity to submit all of our research in an abstract. So he asked me if I can write a 250 word abstract to submit to uh, the conference it happening in Athens. And if it's accepted at the conference, um, we'll, be, well, we'll get a chance to go and present it uh, in Athens. Anyways, fast forward uh, a, few, a few months, a few weeks, and I was in Kenya. Uh, I was on holiday in Kenya in May after my finals. And uh, we, uh, we submitted off this uh, abstract. And a few days later, we had a response saying that our research was actually accepted at the conference here in Athens. And it was that point where I knew that I'd be coming to Athens uh, for a couple of days to present this research. So that's how it all started. Like it was that easy. If you're in medical school now and you want to do some research, honestly, just network and put yourself out there. Go up to different doctors, go up to different consultants and ask them like, if they have any research opportunities available. They're more than happy uh, to help you with this. Um, consultants have so many different research projects. They actually need medical students to work on to help them with. We have a lot more time than, than them, obviously. Uh, so really it's good just to, it's, 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 it's that easy, like it's no magic trick, it's that easy. Go up to, go up to a consultant, ask them if they have any research going on, hopefully the research will take you to a conference and yeah, that's literally how I did it. So later on I will tell you guys about how I'm funding this trip, I'll also tell you guys exactly like why I'm doing this, like obviously there's a reason why I'm doing this and I will tell you guys about that later on. Um, so as I said, it's currently 5.30pm, I'm going to chill for a little bit, settle down and then make a plan for the rest of the evening. So. I'll speak to you guys very soon. All right, so because I'm still in medical school, I can't quite forget that I'm still in medical school. Um, I have a bit of work to do. Um, I know it's kind of sad like being here in Greece and having to work, but I will have a lot of time to travel and explore Greece later on. I'm back at the conference early tomorrow morning and I want to make sure that I get some work done before then. Revise my exam, got an exam coming up in like two and a half weeks as well. I want to get the conference done tomorrow, get that out of the way, and then I'll have a, a bit of time to actually explore Greece. But anyways, uh, I found like a really nice cafe uh, not too far from here. So I'm gonna go get coffee uh, down in the local city and bring on work with me as well. So I'm gonna work there for a couple of hours, explore the local area, uh, find a nice restaurant for dinner, um, and then head back to the hotel, hopefully not too late, so I can get to bed on time. Uh, so that's the plan for now. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so it's now quarter past 9 p.m. in the evening. I've had such a long day. Just to recap over the last few hours, um, I found a nice coffee shop where I just literally sat down and did some work, caught up in my lectures, and then after that I found a really nice Greek restaurant where I had like a Greek wrap. So delicious, like the, probably my favourite thing being in Greece so far is the food. It's absolutely amazing. I'm really tired right now. As I said like last night, I didn't really get much sleep because I came, I arrived quite late. So I'm going to get changed out of these uncomfortable clothes, probably read a book, just chill, like just chill in my bed for around half an hour, 45 minutes, and then head to bed. Because uh, tomorrow is day two of the conference, which I'm still looking forward to so much. But yeah, that is day one of Athens. I hope you guys are enjoying this video, this vlog. Give it a thumbs up so far if you are, and I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Good morning, guys. Uh, day two out here in Athens, headed to the conference this morning, and I am definitely not late. Definitely not late. Yeah, there's a few lectures I'm really looking forward to attending today. Um, so it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Um, I had to skip breakfast this morning because, uh, yeah, I basically late. So I'll catch you guys when I've actually sat down and I'm ready to, to yeah, catch you guys up. All right, so I just got done with lunch. Um, lunch is absolutely amazing. That meal you just saw me have was about nine pounds, which is crazy. That's like the price of a Nando's. So nine pounds for like some freshly made Greek food. So it's around 2 p.m. now. Definitely getting a bit sleepy after that huge meal, but there's a few more lectures I want to go to. So I'm going to check them out and I'll update you guys on what I'm doing later on this afternoon. All right, so I attended my first uh, symposium today. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Really good speaker. The plan right now is to walk to the nearest coffee shop. Uh, I have about two hours free. I uh, also get some work done as well. I can't forget that I'm still in medical school. I still have work that is pending. So I'm going to work two hours, head back. Um, and a few things, two tips when you go to conference. The first thing is to try and like get as many like cards as you can. Try and like talk to as many people as you can. Try and uh, network as much as possible because these are people who might be your colleagues in the future. They might be people who you can do an elective with. Uh, they might be people who can take you up on a lab project. Like, you never know. Talk to as many people as possible. The second tip is to make sure you get a certificate of attendance. Uh, in the future when you are applying for your jobs, they really need to see some evidence that you've been engaging in science and society as well. But for now, I'm going to walk around a bit. Explore Athens a bit, find a nice coffee shop, do some work and head back to the uh, conference in a couple of hours. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so back in the room now. Over the last few hours, I've finished the conference 
The conference is finally done and after that I found a nice coffee shop. I sat outside in the sun. It's like 25 degrees today, really nice and sunny, uh, which is such a change to London. Uh, but yeah, I sat outside for a few hours and did some revision. Um, being on holiday, well, being at a conference, is, it's kind of, it's a balance between, you know, how can I enjoy the country that I'm in and how can I get as much work done without, you know, falling behind. Because at the end of the day, I have an exam coming up in like two and a half weeks. So I still need to stay on top of things, but also I still want to like enjoy where I am now. Um, same thing as, you know, when I was in Taiwan for four weeks, I had to find the balance of, you know, enjoying the country, enjoying where I am and also like not falling back on my work and not forgetting the reason why I'm there. So, you know, going to a coffee shop and walking around is a nice way to kind of get work done, but also enjoy the environment and check out the you know, new places and stuff like that. I still have a bit of time left in this country before I go back to London. I will put some clips towards the end of this uh, vlog about, you know, just me traveling and exploring the local area as well. So I'm not too worried about that. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to explain to you guys First of all, what a conference is. I realize I haven't actually told you guys what a conference is, and some of you may not know. I didn't know what it was until I actually, you know, knew I was coming here. And secondly, how I'm managing to fund this trip. I get asked that so many times, like, how do I manage to you know, fund my traveling trips and all of my research stuff? Uh, so the first question I want to answer is, what exactly is a conference? Uh, my mom asked me this yesterday. Um, my mom's not a medic, she's not in the science field. And she was like, what exactly is a conference? Like, I know you're there, what exactly is it? All right, so for the way I kind of described it is that a conference is where loads of different scientists and uh, doctors uh, come together to to share um, you know clinical information, to share the, the to share the latest treatments, uh, to share uh, the certain methods of doing things. It's where like all this, the whole scientific community come together and just share information to keep each other up to date in the different fields around the whole entire world. So you know loads of different doctors and scientists and consultants from around the world come together into one location uh, to share all this information. So that's exactly what a conference is. Throughout the day, there's loads of different sessions. Uh, there's like teaching sessions, there's sessions on uh, like symposiums, uh, where basically, you know, experts in their fields can come and uh, teach and give information to everyone else. So I attended quite a few sessions here that are really, really interesting and it's really, you know, broadened my understanding of urology as a whole. The second question I want to answer is how, like, in the hell am I affording all this? As you guys know, I'm a third year medical student. I don't have a job, like, you know, how do I afford this? And it's a really, really simple answer this time. Um, you know, when I when I applied for funding in my past for Taiwan specifically as well, and all of my other research projects, I had to fill out a long application form, get loads of references together, uh, put my CV together, all of that kind of stuff. But for this, actually, it was a lot easier. Uh, for this, uh, because I was representing the hospital, because this project is through the actual hospital itself, all I have to do, uh, all I have to do is just speak to someone you know who's in charge of funding, ask you know if I can get uh, get funding for this. They granted me that like verbally. And then at the end of this trip, I have to bring all of my receipts, all of my uh, receipts from traveling, um, you know, everything I spent here, the flights, everything, uh, present it to them and then they'll transfer that back to my account. So this is actually a lot easier. Getting funding through a hospital is much easier than getting, <clears throat> than getting funding from an external organization like how I've done in the past. So those are two questions I want to answer for you guys. Um, it's, around, it's around 5 p.m. right now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I probably will just chill for a bit, like I am quite tired probably chill in the room for a bit, uh, go have dinner, go find a nice place to like, you know, eat. And then tomorrow the plan should be to go and actually spend some time exploring before I catch my flight back to London. So that's the plan for now and I'll catch you guys uh, on the next clip. All right, so it's around 7.30 now and you guessed it, it's time for some more food to so excited about. Uh, I managed to get around two and a half hours uh, of revision before leaving for cute dinner in three, two, one. Alright, so I made it inside of the city and that kind of thing in the background right there, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, that right there is what I'm trying to get to. But um, I'm probably around two or three miles away. Um, I want to walk around for a bit. It's a nice kind of way to get to know the city by just walking. Uh, I rented a scooter as well to get here, which is so much fun. I nearly died about 10 times. Uh, again, mum don't kill me, um, but let's try and make this off.
Right, so that is Athens, guys. Um, over the last few hours, after visiting the different sites, I went to the beach and I had a nice meal and relaxed and sunbathed for a couple of hours before getting my flight back to London. I arrived back at my accommodation around uh, 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning and I had to be up at 7 a.m. to prepare for my hospital placement the next morning, which I'm not gonna lie, wasn't easy to do, but we got it done anyways. So that is the vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think with a comment down below. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one.